Hey, welcome back to our blog. I have an interesting case study to tell you about. And I guess what I wanted to tell you about is when you try to help the society around you, it's going to cost you in different kinds of ways. And when you have money available to you to use in society, to use it for business purposes, you can make certain decisions that will help other people more or not help people as much. But when you do that, sometimes it messes up your own life too. You get involved with it. I think I've told you before in this blog about some of my guys that work for me. This morning, they came over at 8.30 in the morning. Three of them come over every morning, and they're semi-homeless guys. I've I had them working for me off and on for the last three years. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to tell you, all three of them now are not drinking alcohol. I mean, they're all former alcoholics, and now all three of them aren't. So we're happy, we're keeping our fingers crossed, and maybe they'll continue to do that. But every morning they come to my house, so they're involved in my life. I can't really reschedule around that very well because they just expect it. And when I'm not there, uh, they don't have as good of a day, sometimes not as good of a week. So my life has got involved with theirs, but they also help me, and I help them. It works well. Recently, I had a roof that needed to get done. Some guys down the street that I vaguely knew, uh, they're all former meth addicts. Well, two of them are not former meth addicts, but they wanted to work on this roof. The one guy who was not a meth addict asked me about it and he said I got some friends who turned out to be these other two guys that I know and he said I'd like we'd like to have this job we can do it for you we're good roofers and they are they've been doing it for 30 years but they've got other issues right so it turned out the job cost a little bit more maybe than I would have had to pay someone else to do it and it took three weeks instead of three days and I probably went over there twice a day to help resolve issues to get guys to come back to the job sometimes to go pick them up to go get them food at Burger King because they hadn't eaten for two days things like that so it was more complicated but they were so proud of their work when they were done I felt better about helping guys like that to, to do things one of them had to get his car out of the impound lot for example one of them had to uh, help his sister who was in uh, in the hospital and so they, were, they had these kind of emergencies that were coming up that that money went towards. It probably went towards other things too. But the thing was is that they were getting money to buy food, to help their families. But it messed up my life. It took three weeks of my life in some sense. I couldn't really be out of town because they always had things that came up they needed help with. So it would have been easier for me to just find a roofing company, pay them the money. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to run to Home Depot twice a day to go get them stuff that they forgot to get. But... It was more rewarding for me to have this roof knowing that those were the guys that had done it for me. I built these relationships with them. Um, that we really came to kind of have a bond together. And so now when I see them on the street, we, we just have this camaraderie, right? And that's much more interesting. It's, it's a more interesting way to do business. I'd rather spend my money in those ways than just have somebody I don't even know come and do my roof and then I never see them again. You're helping your own community. You're, uh, the money is going right there to people in the local community. And in, in that way, there's more integration to your life. You, your neighborhood, all these things fit together in, in a, a coherent way that makes life, I think, more meaningful. 